Uh, the event of, of today is Battle of the Birds. It's uh, BGSU Falcons versus Miami Red Hawks. Um, we've been trying to put this together for a while because, you know, we all like competing. So um, we put together a crew battle, which is a five-on-five head-to-head, and uh, we see who's the best, you know, best school, basically, when it comes to Smash. Here we go! Every character is different. There's 50 different characters, meaning you have to learn 50 different uh, matchups and different situations for those specific characters. And if you don't know, then it's, you know, you're, you're gonna lose. You know, as soon as you mess up one time, like, they're going at you. Um, and that's why you see I wear headphones, you know, so I can't hear that, so I can just focus on the game. So, and even then, it'll seep through the headphones. And there's been times where I've been about to die and I can hear somebody in the background, it's all over, it's all over. So headphones, I feel like it's required. I've always got butterflies, like the first person I play at a, at a tournament, you know. Um, you're always really nervous. You don't know what they're going to do, how they're going to play, and how you're going to have to adapt. But uh, after you play that first game with them, and even if you lose, uh, the butterflies go away in the second game, and you're just ready to go and, and make it through the bracket. You could compare it to a sport, um, kind of like a team sport, but there is a big difference where, you know, not, your whole team isn't up there with you. It's, it's you versus somebody else. So it's really on you. So there's a lot of pressure. Um, Whereas like the rest of the team in, in kind of like a team-based sport can alleviate that pressure for you. Uh, I think it can be as competitive as a game like soccer or football or anything like that. I foresee a future in which football has died out and we have like these giant arenas for whatever eSport there is, be it fighting games or League of Legends or something like that. The view that people have for eSports is definitely changing. A lot of that in part because of really, really big streamers. Um, I think now that when people play video games and they're so popular and there are these people who are getting hundreds of thousands of views on Twitch and things like that, it destroys those stigmas because you see a person who's you know, breaking that stigma right in front of your eyes. There's a lot of people who uh, do the same kind of thing, but instead of their parents' basements, now that you're at college, they're just sitting in their dorm rooms. And that's true, um, but that's something that we're trying to change. We're trying to get those guys to come out and, you know, join us, play with some, you know, play with your classmates, your colleagues, that kind of thing, and try to create that community. I think the stereotype still persists, and I think a, a big thing to notice is that competitive gaming likes to sort of stick to itself. We don't necessarily like to go out to other other things, even among games, right? Like you. You see a little bit of hostility between the fighting game players and the, uh, the sort of more League of Legends type thing. So I think that uh, the way we see each other is always going to be flawed, but I also, I also think that uh, we have grown in a lot of ways. And I think we've also grown past the stereotype, which is the most important thing. You know, a lot of colleges actually are doing the scholarship programs and the varsity programs like that. and. Um, I definitely see that you know BG should eventually introduce one of those kind of programs because other schools like Akron and Lords and Miami all have their varsity programs and you know we we really like our games and we, we really want to compete and kind of uh, show off BG to the rest of the, the state. You know they do have a competitive varsity program first um, for the game we were playing and we won so like you know that means a lot that shows that we have a lot of potential and just be able to represent the school and just represent ourselves at the same time and our team just means a lot.